We've got Hawthorne superstar Jason Dunstall in here and newsbreaker extraordinaire Damien Barrett in here. Hello, gentlemen. Good afternoon, uh, boys. James. Oh, we're going to get half an hour's worth of discussing, Willis, all of the big topics mm. in football, and you want to go right off the bat. Well, Chief, we got you here, mate. I know you're sick of it, and there's that many rumours flying around, but... Just clear it up, Chief. Buddy, clear it up for us once and for all, and we won't ask you again. Really? Yes. What am I clearing up? What's going on with Buddy? Best guess? I reckon we'll just freshen him up for next year. Oh. So he won't play again this year? Probably not. Listen to the chief. Oh, chief. Listen to he the won't chief. Freshen him up. Next freshen year. him up, chief. Don't you reckon? This is the flag favourite. <laughs> re- Honestly, don't you reckon the poor bloke's sick of all the silly rumours that have been floating around? But there's that many rumours, right? Yeah. And, and we are, we, and we all know they're not right. But then he doesn't play, so it adds fuel to the he, fire. He got crook, Damo. What do we expect to happen when club presidents or? Chairman come out and attack the match review panel and their lack of consistency. Do we expect the AFL to well, come usually, heavy-handed? Usually when it happens, they get a please explain within 24 hours. Um, do you know something I don't know? Has that moment, not or? happened in this instance? Well, I'd be surprised if it did, in all honesty. I, I really would. because well, he's I, untouchable, isn't he? I read the transcript of what was said. I didn't hear it live. We're so not talking about Ed. Ed this morning. Talking about you, Yesterday Bob. morning. Yesterday talking morning. about one Jay Brayshaw <laughs> and the North Melbourne Footy Club. <laughs> yes. Come on, Damo, don't laugh. Did you, you know what this? he just said? I'm talking about you, Flog. <laughs> they were his words. The chief just said. How, um, how does he escape censure for that? Well, uh, maybe, chief, it's, maybe it's a was... lesson to you that you can say things and rather than clam up like you do on, yeah, on Club exactly Matters, chief. And and you can actually get away with it, Chief. Point. Given you're paid to do this job, you could actually speak about your own club every now and then, Chief. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking... He's just flipped multiple birds. <laughs> speaking uh, of uh, you, Jim. Yes. yes. Mm. Ben Buckley. Now, I tried to... I'm not a great... Uh, Question asker. Um, so, <laughs> Damo. Can you believe... I thought you were good yesterday, Bill. Damo. I like the You've Can got you Jim here. This? Go. Your best three questions, please. Okay. You were accused of be, it being a boys' club at the start of the year, or mid-season when it got ugly. Mm. Would Ben Buckley's addition to this uh, leave you wide open to that accusation? No, it wouldn't at all, because he is an elite administrator who would be a huge addition to any footy club, certainly ours. So do you want him to be that uh, lead I would, administrator? I would love him to look at it. I don't think he will, is my honest So the process view. you've got in place to find a short list of four would go out the window if he no, responded he would, to he your would text? No, he would be added to the process and would be a welcome addition to it. But You'd make him go through the process? Oh, he'd certainly be interviewed and all the rest of it. For obviously, he who, who are the other four, Jim? Oh, you, you want me to just tell you, Chief? Do you? Oh, are we not curious? Well, there's well a, the Herald Sun today. Are they close? Well, all I will say the is there are some was... articles in the paper today that are that far away from oh. accurate. It's frightening. Really? But, so so, so um, those names mentioned? Not. Oh, there are some that are a mile off. Just out of interest. <laughs> Miles off. out of interest, Jim. Okay. Uh, what does the job pay? Listen to this. <laughs> Honestly. Well, I might throw my hat in the ring, and I just want to know. Oh, because he was CEO once at a club. Of yeah. course he was, mahogany desk. I would have thought, Chief, that you, you would be a wonderful appointment. And you want to tell me, You want me to tell you why? Why? Because you then have to do everything I said. <laughs> <laughs> everything. Have you not read what's happened about what the, di- the division between the CEO and the board at Melbourne? <laughs> We would have a similar well, scenario. You'd run your own race, Chief? <laughs> Correct. You, you would come in and create havoc. So if you? I applied, how much could I expect to earn? Um, nowhere near. What sort of budget do you have? Nowhere near as much as the bloke that ends up getting it will get. <laughs> uh, ben Buckley's allegedly on about 1.5. Yep. I'll see you boys Friday night. No, you'll uh. see us in about four minutes when we come <laughs> back from this episode. You've got to stick around. Where do you I've think you're going? Bit. No. You hey. gave us nothing on Buddy. Happy Gilmore, you stick around. You'll get even uh, less in a minute. Have a look at him. <laughs> Happy I'm applying for your plaid job. Pants. Good, Chief. It's the midweek <laughs> rub. Hand your resume over. Hourly rate. JB, any ramifications for Lockie Hansen playing yes. after the heavy hit to Sunday's Now you're risking it? your players' welfare. Not that I know of, and neither should there be. So, so where's that at, though? Because that, know, they're Chief, untouchable north now. Yeah. As you know, Chief, club doctors are hard enough to come by. When yes. you start questioning their integrity, you are entering a very murky. Well, but I heard you made this call. I know. <laughs> Listen to this man. Well, well, let's let's turn it seriously for a moment. The jet lag has got to him to the point where he can't speak. If you were CEO to... of North, yeah. would you let him play, Lockie Hanson? Oh, absolutely not. Yeah. But I'd get rid of the president as well. <laughs> <laughs> Another please explain for Jimbo coming in the mail. Look forward to that, Jimbo. How, how can that be a please explain? <laughs> I don't know. You are just Nimrods. Yeah. And you ben especially. Buckley. You and Chief. Ben Buckley and that now. It, we have to wrap oh, this up. I'm getting a please explain yep. for Ben Buckley. Are you chasing him? Yes or no? Just oh. yes or no, Jim. Come on. Let's, uh, who am go. I explaining please to? Yes. Let's wrap it up with an all-in. Yeah. 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 Has he got a joke, Bill? <laughs>
Um, what do you call? Oh, oh he's not starting he's very confident. No making notes. this one what up. What do you call a three-legged donkey? <laughs> what? A wonky. <laughs> you can't keep getting away with this crap. Phil. Something's got to be done. He did well yesterday. That, that is a disgrace. <laughs> it doesn't all, deserve a tumbleweed. He all, he all always calls me that. <laughs> He's, now he's not running with that voice. <laughs> oh, done? Damo just he's, gets it. He's <laughs> now making donkey noises, Truth. He all, he all, he all. He's got put on plastic. Look, look at this man. Oh, hey, go, Harry. Go, <laughs> Harry. We love Harry. Hit plastic, please. Righto. Oh. Sing it, Bill. Sad boo wah. Sad flat do wah 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 wah. Flat flat do wah. Flat, flat, blue, blue, blue. Blue. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs>